I have uh, read about 10 volumes on Mahabharata you have written. Mahabharata, Bhagavad Gita uh, discusses what is righteousness in the life. Where there is righteousness in the heart, there is a beauty in the character. That's what Mahabharata says, Bhagavad Gita says. Where there is a righteousness in the heart, there is a beauty in the character. Repeat with me, where there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. When there is harmony in the home, there is order in the nation. Order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. Friends, 90,000 slogans, 10 volumes of Mahabharata from Sanskrit, he has translated in English. There is one character which I love in Mahabharata. One character. Any one of you can guess? Arjun? No, no. Dharma? No. 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 Vidur. Vidur is man of righteousness. But he is not afraid of the, what I can say, authority. What is right only totally he will talk. So why don't you tell us what is your vision uh, of India being a developed country? Uh, what do you understand by India being a developed country and how do we get there? Yeah, it's a good question he has posed. <laughs> Friends, it's like this. What I visualize in next five years, that is by the year 20, 20, 20. I want to see 2020, you have to have the economically developed nation. We have 300 million people below poverty line. That means in five years time, we have to lift them up. That, is, that means we have to generate the employment potential. Okay? Employment potential. That's why I have proposed a visionary thought that is what is called Pura. Pura means providing urban amenities in the rural area. We have in our country 600,000 villages. How many villages? 600,000 villages where 70% of our people live there. 700 million people live there. How do you bring prosperity to our village people? That is, you have to give them physical connectivity. You have to give them electronic connectivity. You have to give them knowledge. You have to give them knowledge connectivity. You give physical, electronic knowledge connectivity so that economic connectivity and the employment generation will come. What do you say? Absolutely. All of your books have this quality of optimism, inspiration. You talk about various successful examples where there have been successes in India. So why don't you tell us a little bit about those also? Well, what makes you so optimistic about <laughs> India? <laughs> well, I have uh, no. I have a teacher. Okay, that teacher's name is Professor Satish Dhawan, and also he was my boss. Okay, he was the chairman Indian Space Research Organization. I was. Uh, right, he gave me a program. He said, "Kalam, I am going to give you a program." Whatever money you ask, whatever strength people you want, human power, whatever authority you want, I will get it sanctioned by the cabinet. But you should give me in seven years time a rocket system that will put a satellite in the orbit. That's the job he has given me. I found it's a big job for me. Because 
there are lot of people in my establishment senior to me with a lot of experience high qualification can i do can i do can i do i had a doubt then pr satish davan gave me an advice all of you going to repeat the advice he said any work you do repeat with me there will be always some problems come crumb up but problem should not be your captain you should become the captain of the problem and defeat the problem and succeed i found as a president sit down sit down i tell you sit down i tell you he had all the power because if you see the constitution i have read complete constitution first six months i finished the constitution okay when i joined i found that guy president guy has empowered okay for example i can go anywhere any one of the villages and talk about that you must have a vision and clean up all the water bodies okay all the water bodies you clean up connect all water bodies definitely president can give a suggestion to the government and suggest to the people and give the vision i gave the vision india 2020 vision when i was the president in the parliament okay 10 times i address 15 assemblies i address india 2020 vision and pura so present fellow can do the job okay next next question yes okay okay sir uh you mentioned edison so let me extract draw you out about your thoughts on entrepreneurship how do we create entrepreneurship in the country see entrepreneurship is a very good question very very fantastic question you see entrepreneurs they are not uh, a new crop okay the problem today i visualize can i talk about my visualization that's the reason we are here okay my visualization of education is education there are two type of education secondary education 10 plus 1 10 plus 2 okay secondary education up to 10 plus 2 and then college education now i am pushing an idea the idea is 9th class 10th class 11th class 12th class you reduce the 25% of our syllabus you reduce the 25% of regular syllabus and then introduce professional courses a yeah, skill training skill training so when the student when the student comes out of the school 10 uh, high school he comes with two certificates one is that he is qualified 10 plus 2 another certificate he has got a skill certificate imagine okay he is employable same thing for colleges there also he studies four four years uh, 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 graduation i am saying you reduce one year make it three year course one year give them expertise course the expertise so you will come with a degree and the diploma of expertise okay you have a question yes get up uh, when you talk about skill development programs so now when we see there's so much of capitalization over everything though we have institutions of skill development but with so much of constraint in, with the government with the present majoritarian government it's very difficult for the msmes the small scale industry with for children like us to give you know a vision to our dreams there are a lot of constraints uh, is the question about a vision for msme yeah okay so uh, what are your thoughts on medium and small enterprise eh? medium and small enterprise media small in small enterprise small enterprises i believe is very important see i suggest in the when the colleges and schools they must give the training how you become three four guys should join when they come out bank should help them bank should help them that is uh, the uh, bankers 
should help them investment investment so that the small small industries millions millions will come out so i visualized that's why i'm saying skill you import the skill in the in the secondary education the expert in the higher education they become employable with the capacity that i will become a entrepreneur instead of job seekers employment seekers now 10 plus 2 seven million people are coming every year that means they are employment seekers most of them we need the employment generators if you become a entrepreneur if you become a entrepreneur you become a employment generators it is possible okay you've talked about entrepreneurship you've talked about education skills let me now ask you about your suggestions for improving health outcomes now friends health health very important health is very important but one thing i want to tell you the it starts from the, for example my brother my brother in rameshwaram is 98 in january became 98 98 years now <clears throat> i he told me he gave me advice because i am a irregular eating that is i don't follow the right time breakfast lunch dinner he called me on his 90 january became 98 i went to see him my brother advised me you are a 83 fellow you want to compete with me 98 <laughs> you have to follow three things number 1 walk 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 he did in his in his uh, in his younger age he we had a lot of coconut trees so he used to walk minimum 10 km every day walk 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 second one eat at regular time he eats even now 8 o'clock in the morning 1 o'clock lunch and then dinner 8:30 and sleep 9 o'clock okay but i can't afford to do that but i want to tell you all of you regular eating and regular exercise and a good feeling what is the good feeling i i tell you what's a good feeling you know you take a child can i explain you take a child you take a, a teenager you take an adult and you take a leader you create a st- situation child says you give me okay yeah situation we show a product child says you give me the teenager will say don't disturb me i can do myself don't disturb me. <laughs> most of you in that class third one grown up he will say let us work together whereas the leadership fellow leadership fellow leading quality fellow say what i can give child said you give the leader said what i can give <laughs> the follow so all of you you take a vow today today you take a vow today evening repeat with me what, what? i can give i can give what, what? i can give i can give what, what? i can give i can give what the opposite of it what the opposite of it what can i there are all the trouble we are going through because of what can i take <laughs> corruption starts what can i take i will say you may ask some questions yes yes fellow go ahead. you friend oh you asked when i am 23 eh <laughs> what i will do <laughs> contasi question fantasy question 23 when i was a 23 fellow i took a, i had a dream that i will become a pilot okay i will become a pilot so i studied aeronautical engineering i went to air force for pilot okay they did not select me okay <laughs> out of 10 fellows i was the 10th fellow a selected fellow nine seats only they had i lost it okay but when i became the president i became the supreme commander <laughs> okay. 
I told the chief. I told the chief. Chief of the air staff. I want to learn flying. He said, I am going to give you training. He trained me for six months. Then I flew SU-30. <laughs> Message is, dream. Repeat with me, dream. 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 Transforms. Transforms. Into thoughts. 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 Results. Result. Into, Into action. action. Well, I have a I have a tree in my home, okay? In a tree, it's called Arjuna tree. You know, have you heard about it? Arjuna tree, 107 years. My tree, I am living in a house, 10 Rajaji Mark, 107 years old tree. That tree, I, every day I go for a morning walk one hour, okay? Then I go near the tree. That tree, sometime I used to ask the tree, why, what the purpose you lived 107 years? <laughs> what is the purpose? The tree told me one day, oh, your father lived 103 years. Your mother lived 19 years. So we all live. But I want to tell you, tree told me, I have written a poem. I have written a poem. The name of the poem, the great tree in my home. Great tree in my home. There, I uh, finally, when I asked the tree, what is the purpose of your life? Uh, they, now you question Kalam, the tree says, Arjuna tree says, now you question Kalam, what is my mission? I asked the tree, tell me what's your mission? I will ask you also, each one of you, what is the mission? And mission of 100 years of my life. You said, what is the mission of 100 years of my life? My mission, the tree says, the tree says, remember what I am saying, my poem, my mission, I enjoy giving what all, all I have. I share flower, I share honey, and give abode for hundreds of birds and I give and give. So I remain young and happy always. I will, repeat with me, I will. Fly and fly. fly and fly. I am born. I am born, I'm born, with, potential. born with potential. I am, I am born, with born with goodness. Good and trust. Good. I am born with ideas and dreams. I am born with, I am born with greatness. I am born with, I am born with confidence. I am, born with I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not. Meant for crawling. I, for crawling. I have wings. I will fly, I will fly, I will fly. After that, I don't think we should prolong it anymore. I have had often very, very difficult tasks as a moderator. This has not only been an honor, this has been the easiest task of a moderator I have ever confronted in my life. Thanks. <laughs> to Dr. Abdul Kalam.